Alright, well this should turn my web. Come on! Oh, brilliant! There's a viewfinder, too. Brilliant stuff. Okay, so I can actually tell that I'm broadcasting. Sweet! That's the main thing. Alright, let's take a look. So, let's just get this game set up. Cube history. Clear data. I believe it's this one. Hmm. Here's the good question. Do I want to play this in uh, slightly hard mode? Because <laughs> last time, when I played it in gamer mode, I did actually get my ass kicked a few times. <laughs> so this one will be a good one. So first of all, I'll be playing a whole different route to what I'm used to. This means... Shion Kasugai's route. Yep, I do have a walkthrough printed out because uh, I sort of have to use my smartphone for monitoring my live stream. But anyway, I'm Rush, the Soviet gamer, and tonight will be my uh, sort of first attempt of uh, doing a live let's play of Keep a Strip. And then I'm dressed. Um, I think I'll stick with gamer mode this time. Because if I try to play the no taco mode, I'm probably going to only infuriate myself in some places. Because I played this one mission where you have to uh, beat the crap out of uh, like literally 40, 40 people. Honestly, I've never regretted uh, not taking uh, an AI partner with me so bad. Anywho, let's begin. Alright, see so ya. Yeah. By the way, last time I was playing Ascari, I'm thinking I'm good, just gonna just you know leave uh, all the clothes as they are. But perhaps I'll uh, change up the character model just to see if I fancy anything else for a change. Because I played Ascari through my entire Rinse Route playthrough. So yeah, let's get this going. Oh, wow, cool. She looks pretty mad. <laughs> I could play as Rin. We'll see you later. Kind lady. Nope. Absolutely not. Not bad. No. No. <laughs> this kind of cool. If they were in a different color, I would consider it. <laughs> Dude, looks like a lady. Oh, that's pretty cool. Again, apart from the hair color. I could play a Shizuku. That looks alright as well. Oh wow, that's good. That is good. I'm quite bored of this, to be honest. Right then, let me just switch this over. So I can actually see my chat window down below. Okay. 
but we'll also have to do one quick little stream audio check as well just to be absolutely certain that everything's in order. That's a bit of a short leash, huh? <laughs> Hopefully this will work. Well, the in-game audio sounds alright. Just making sure that everything's working all right because at the end of the day what I want to know is is this working properly it's my first proper stream with the cam footage and everything else I gotta be absolutely certain that it's all looking good for me and you guys I guess that'll have to do. Let's get going. Let's enable Wi-Fi because streaming this back to myself is not working so good right now. <laughs> Over more well. Hmm, this is lagging as well. It's not too bad now actually. I'm just going to keep watching this for a little while longer just to make absolutely certain that this is not creating any visual lag. Because I wouldn't fancy causing Mount Stream to go down because I'm playing this over the same <laughs> connection as my PC right now. Can my 30 megabit connection handle two-way <laughs> data streams? of equal size. So far, I'm quite impressed. Okay, anywho, let's uh, put this uh, monitor down. normal headphones back in and carry on doing this. <laughs> right, well, I think I'm going with Rin this time. I'm guessing grey hair will have to do. Or will it be Shizuku? <sighs> I wish I could change this in mid-game, but uh, I guess I'll have to do it this way. Alright. Shizuku it is then. I think. There's got to be a, another Shizuku. Oh, there is two. Yeah, that's alright. Let's go with that one. Shizuku and Shion Kasugai <laughs> as potential lesbian lovers in this Shion Kasugai Let's Play. My guide right now. I know it's cheating, but uh, kind of has to be done because I've already failed at uh, my first Let's Play when I was trying to do the simple um, Well, at first I was actually trying to go for uh, Shizuku but then I failed because the game locked me onto Rin's route. So, there we are. Let's 
Oh yeah, by the way, I did pass Rain's Road entirely. I've got a video of it somewhere on my hard disk, but I didn't stream it. But yeah, this will be my first live one. Anyway, let's go. Yes, I'm choosing her. Now let's go. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Start. Oh yeah, set up complete. I am done. Well, let's get this done. I've seen plenty of YouTubers fail to read all of this text. <laughs> I'm gonna let it scroll on through. Because some of you might want to watch it. Don't know why, <laughs> but okay. There is no freaking way I'm reading all of this text. It's too fast to read. I've seen Jim Sterling do it live. I'm impressed he actually managed it, but he was talking kind of like one of those uh, commercial guys right at the end of the commercials, like <laughs> like somebody like time stretch squeezed it and made it go really, really fast. <laughs> People can talk like that, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to keep this one uh, proper let's play. So I'm not gonna leave anything out, I'm not gonna skip anything. And no editing, because yeah, live stream. I'm actually thinking about doing uh, my Resident Evil Revelation series this way because, well, it's just going to work better that way, I think. Well, let's begin. Hopefully. Hmm, morning already? Let's sleep just a little longer. Why not? <laughs> oh, what the fuck is this place, huh? Well, well. Seems you've finally come around. I believe congratulations are in order. You've officially passed the compatibility exam. And are now ready to begin your life anew. Oh, I might know. As a synthester. Wow. Awesome. I'm strapped to a table. Oh no. That, that is one crazy ass job interview. Well, now we got knocked the fuck out. Try to stay calm. You did sign the contract, didn't you? Probably, yeah. Even though Let's you can't have a look at it, shall we? Pertaining to the experiments and business affairs of the organization, the signee. Ah, that's you. Does hereby agree to faithfully and willfully cooperate and participate in all assigned activities. Without objection. As compensation, the organization agrees to remit rare and valuable character goods, figurines, and books per the signee's wishes. Okay. Really, they're rather shady terms. It's a wonder you'd ever endorse such a document. <laughs> Seems like a dumbass thing to do. But it's my character after all. So, I thought it was just to start their job contract. Whatever, just give me the figurines. And uh, nobody ever reads the fine print. That would be the fairest one. I'm going with that one. Hmm. You're as foolish as you look, it would seem. A pity, really. Well, the choice is yours. Just know this. Defective goods must be destroyed. Pretty sure there was a bug. Master Zenya, we have a situation. I don't like the sound of that. 
What's wrong? Th there's an intruder in the building right now. An intruder? What happened to the guards? That's what. <laughs> Real Shizuku is here to kick ass. Can you move? Yes. Follow me. We're getting out of here. Team Shizuku's. <laughs> Subdue the intruder now. Yes, my master. Right. Let's fight. <laughs> At least these guys don't block too much. I hate it when they block. Whoa. See, that's what happens when you don't pay attention. Better. Oh, these guys are weak. If it was the end of the game, I'd be stripped by now. Oh well. Now is our best chance. Move. All right, you. Damn. How dare you make light of us? Do you truly expect me to let you escape so easily? You shielded me? Are you all right? Yep. Men, surround them. Whatever you do, don't let them escape. Yes, my master. I'm going for it. Stay close behind me. Well, well, time for a long dialogue scene, so I'm just going to let these lovebirds talk I it out. I think up. we lost them. Are you alright? Can you still walk? You're injured. This is from when you shielded me, isn't it? You still seem to be in full control, but it won't be long. Until that's not the case. Very well. If I have no choice. <clears throat> I'm going to share some of my blood with you. This will most likely save you, but it may bring you even greater suffering in the days to come. Is anybody else wondering how she cut her lip like that? I mean, she just goes... That's all I got. I mean, normally vampires just go... There you go. Drink some. Drink some. I oh, know, not this one. <laughs> she just uh, bleeds from the lip randomly. Impressive skill, if you ask me. If you think you're willing to take that chance, then please drink my blood. Mouth to mouth. Oh, hell yeah. I could swear I just sensed a wicked notion from you, but no, I'm sure it was nothing. This blood will lead you down a difficult road, I fear. But in the end, your fate is your own to shape. <clears throat> I, Shizuku Tokikaze, do hereby decree that this man, whose blood will soon resonate with my own, be welcomed among us. Yay! <clears throat> nice. <clears throat> it seems to have taken. And thankfully, your wounds are now healed. Right, well, one thing i got to remember is that this is a Xion's route playthrough, so basically the idea is, unless I want to accidentally get locked onto somebody else's route, i got to be a dick to pretty much everybody, except for the uh, little sister character. I will try to do her missions as well. Why not? Might as well. Who exactly are you? My name is Shizuku Tokikaze. What is yours? I'm Rush. 
But you can call me Rash. It's nice to meet you. I'm sure you've heard the rumors, haven't you? That monsters have been attacking people on the streets of this town? I am a hunter. It is my duty to slay these monsters. These... Synthesters. Let's just ask this dumbest question, because I've never got to do it before. <laughs> Typically, those who are transformed into Synthesters lose all sense of reason. They blindly, violently pursue all that they desire. Fortunately, you manage to avoid being swallowed up by your own material lust. As far as I can determine, you still seem to be fully capable of rational thought. Though I suppose that's because of the blood contract. You're something more than a synthister now. No, never mind. Your wounds may have healed, but you're still weak. And you're still extremely vulnerable to sunlight. During the daytime, you'll need to take care not to expose any of your skin below the neck. Otherwise, your body may dissolve. Hmm. Another dumbass question. Hmm? <laughs> it may take some time for your body to heal. I'd suggest we rest here for the night. I don't think they'll find us here anytime soon. Hmm. Don't know what a futon is, but it sounds comfy. Try your best to relax. You should be able to move again come morning. Hmm. Nope, definitely no luck. <laughs> Are you up? I'm sorry to ask this first thing in the morning, but do you know of any safe havens in the area? We won't accomplish anything by wandering aimlessly through the streets after all. I'd prefer someplace quiet where we can regroup, but anywhere is fine as long as it's secure. That sounds like a plan. Akiba... freedom fighters? All right then. Will you show me the way? Okay, let's go. Well. First things first, let's uh, change my audio settings here, so when the music gets loud, you can still hear me if I'm talking. Auction out, but notice. Okay, fair enough. I've already read all of these messages before, so I'm just going to go ping, ping, ping. When uh, this video becomes available as a, you know, on-demand stream, just know. Skip through these and pause whenever you have to. Also, I believe I did set the DVR mode to on, so you can always rewind the stream in the future. And go back to life. Right then, let's do the audio. Uh huh. Background music volume down to the lowest. Voice volume, that's fine. Sound effects volume over here. Okay, sounds like a plan. I do forget what... Oh, that's save and load. That's what my face here is hiding. Okay. Oh, I got any messages? Well, oh no, that's better thing. Oh, Taco had been disappearing all over Akiba. Seriously, not reading this wall of text. <laughs> uh, these are a little bit uh, pointless. Well, they do add a little bit of uh, atmosphere to the game, but uh, if you've already played through it really? before, then you're not going to want to read them ah. again. Alright, let's go. 
Ooh. Oh, that's just a maid. But it was one of those uh, ladies that gives you uh, in-game flyers for the shops and stuff. Apparently required for 100% game completion. How are you feeling? Just fine and dandy. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Don't forget what I told you yesterday. Your body is extremely sensitive now. Exposure to direct sunlight could dissolve you completely. Keep a close eye on your clothing. Don't let yourself get stripped down. I doubt the men who attacked us yesterday will give up quite so easily. So, they're after your clothes, am I right? Not just mine, but yours as well. <laughs> of course, there are bound to be those who will leave us be, but I wouldn't count on that. <gasps> they're here. Awesome. Let's have a bit of a fight then. These guys should be easy to beat. It's her! We found her! That filthy failure's with her too! Let's smush them both! Smush them. They're the same as us. Poor souls with a fatal weakness to sunlight. Ah, I ran away. No, let's just call the police. I don't think that's necessary. In fact, the police would only get in our way. My mission is to fight them until they're subdued. Okay. You should be able to feel it too by now. The power to fight, awakening within you. Come, join me in this battle. Okay. We fight. All right. Let's beat the crap out of them. Let's go. Oh yeah. The Zenny lightsaber is awesome. As well, make this shit. Oh, yeah. Let's not let that get by. Always gotta grab the loot. <sighs> we won. Oh, yeah. Hmm, who's that? Sounds like a pain in the ass. Oh, these characters are still dressed in the same clothes that I played in the last playthrough. Broski, you're alive! Broski. I hadn't heard from you in three days. I thought maybe somebody chipped you off somewhere. Stare. Who's this lady? She's not part of the Freedom Fighters, is she? Nope, yeah, I'm afraid not. Just a girl who kissed me. <laughs> ah, shut it. We all know you still have your V-card. Oi. Anyway, you must atone for leaving me alone and worried these past three days. Ah, <sighs> can do whatever the fuck I want. The present situation is thus. There is approximately one little sister standing before you, desiring of a character tea which that shop over there just got in. Your mission? Purchase shirt for adorable sister. <sighs> You're still wearing the same shirt. I'm happy now. Thanks, protagonist. Cool. I'll let it go with just a warning expenditure this time. But next time you disappear like that, you'd better be ready to declare bankruptcy. Ooh. Yeah, the longer you wait to explain yourself to everyone, the more danger you'll be in. Also, between you and me, I'm a little embarrassed to see you traipsing about in such shoddy attire. Stop by any time you're back at base, and I'll give you a makeover. For a small fee, of course. 
just something to keep in mind. The present situation, however, is that this sunlight shines far too brightly for a humble shut-in, such as I. Therefore, your adorable sister shall now coolly take her leave. I'll see you back at base. Okie dokie. Your little sister is certainly... unique. She's special. So, are we far from the headquarters of these Akiba Freedom Fighters? If we don't get moving soon, we could be attacked again at any moment. Well, yeah, I guess we did draw some attention to ourselves. Uh, if we head through UD+, we'll be there in no time flat. All right, let's get going. Yes, there will be a hell of a lot of loading screens in this game. And a lot of story. Hmm. I'm kind of surprised that I'm not hearing... Oh no, there it is. That's the music. <laughs> Interesting Japanese music. And I'm stuck against the wall. <laughs> Not anymore. So this place. More music. Interesting. Is this... Mogra? Mm -hmm. Welcome back, Master! Oh! Is it really you? You've been gone for three whole days, man! Where you been? Okay, looks like we've picked up an audio bug. Very nice. <laughs> anyway, might as well just play through this. The hell were you thinking, disappearing like that? I thought for sure you'd been kidnapped! And what's with the high-quality 3D next to you? Something smells real fishy here. She saved my life, but, uh... So you did get yourself caught up in something dangerous. I knew it. You serious? Man, I never would have guessed all those rumors floating around Akiba were actually true! Rumors? What, you mean you haven't heard them? There have been like a million plips about it! People getting kidnapped and turned into monsters, then terrorizing the locals! Yeah, that's... They steal life energy from people. In other words, they drain their vitality, effectively killing all enthusiasm and zeal. So what you're saying is those recent news reports of people being discovered in deeply lethargic states... It's because they've been attacked by these... synthesters? I'm afraid so. I think I understand! This is one of those truth is stranger than fractions things, right? That would be fiction, Kadi. Truth is stranger than fiction. Yeah, she's foreign. So <laughs> let me get this straight. You go off to apply for some shady as hell job where your employer somehow drugs you and turns you into a monster? And nothing leading up to that set off a red flag. Nope. You are seriously the world heavyweight champion of dumbass. Come on, Toko. He's been through enough already. Besides, getting lured in by Ellie Swag makes total sense, considering who we're talking about. I was a victim of circumstance. But this one is the one I'm going with. Oh, for the love of... Do you even comprehend how much trouble you've caused everyone? You don't exist in a vacuum, you know. So, ignoring dick. these two for the moment, I believe introductions are in order. 
I'm Yuto, Yuto Tachibana. May I have your name as well? Mine is Shizuku. Shizuku Tokikaze. We call ourselves the Akiba Freedom Fighters. Together, we voluntarily patrol the streets of Akihabara, keeping an eye out for trouble. He's one of us as well, and this bar serves as our base of operations. That's right! And I'm one of the central figures in our illustrious group. Name's Kaito Tachibana, and the pleasure's mine. As you might have figured out, I'm Yuto's older twin brother. Best way to tell us apart? I'm the one with all the ideas. <laughs> Is one of those ideas being out of school and unemployed? You shut up! You shut up and you die! Little brothers can't show up, big brothers. It's against the rules. Yes, yes, that's enough now. I'm Kati Raikonin. I blew on in from the Finland to Japan so I could see and do its cool busy culture. Hmm? I believe what she's trying to say is that she flew here from Finland to study the cool culture of Japan. Name's Kihachi Sugiyama. I'm the manager of this year game bar, Mogra, where people can knock back a few while they play these old classic arcade cabinets. Feel free to just call me Pops. Everybody else around here does. But you're welcome to call me Dear Sweet Old Man if you prefer. He's got a face fit for the FBI's most wanted list, doesn't he? <laughs> hey. But he's a good guy. Don't worry. You could have said that sooner, you know. <laughs> I'm Toko Sagisaka. I grew up with this dolt and just can't seem to get away from him, despite my best efforts. No need for formalities with me. Everybody just calls me by my first name. Incidentally, thanks for saving him. I happened upon him during a mission. It was good fortune, nothing more. There is one other member of our group, but she's like a rare monster spawn. She should pop eventually. Guess you'll meet her then. So, what's the plan? Do we all pile into the police station and tell them Akiba's infested with monsters? They'd never believe a word of it. Why not? I mean, we can show them living proof. You're one of these synthister things now yourself, right? No, no, that's no good. He'd get dissected and have weird sciency tests run on him. Hmm, so going to the police would involve giving him up as a noble sacrifice. That sounds reasonable. Don't even joke about that. Besides, shouldn't we be more concerned with trying to get him back to normal? I mean, if he stays like this, he'll start attacking people sooner or later, right? That should be no concern. He will not attack others against his will, at the very least. He... he won't? Well, what do you think? You're the one in the hot seat here. Okay. Yeah, I guess you did miss three days' worth of television. Makes sense you'd want to catch up. By which I mean Toko's right. You really are a dumbass. Seriously, you make even me look upstanding. Hmm. There's still an awful lot I don't get, though. Like, if there's hard evidence of monsters in Akiba, shouldn't the police already be on it? Until we're certain of that, all we can do is our duty as freedom fighters and investigate. Oh! Hey, Togikaze, would you care to help us out with that? What? Well, I mean, you seem pretty familiar with these things. So come on, what do you say? It is true that I've been researching them. But I'm being specifically targeted by them as well. And I don't wish to involve you all in my affairs. <laughs> I think that ship has already sailed. No kidding. These creeps have already changed one of our guys into some kind of freaky vampire. So yeah, if you can help with that, we ain't gonna stop you. All right. Okay then, perfect. Shizuku, please write your name and cell phone number in the group registry. Cell phone? I'm sorry, I don't have one of those. That's rather unusual in this day and age, but if you don't have a cell number, your email address will do just fine. Um, well... Hmm, sounds like you're a tough one to get a hold of. I guess it would be kind of awkward to ask for your home number, huh? Actually, I haven't been home in quite some time. 
There were problems. Seriously? So you're an honest-to-goodness, real-life runaway? All mired in melodrama? I didn't run away exactly, and I do have a place to stay. A place with plenty of manga. They even have a shower there. Don't tell me you're staying in a manga cafe. Do you not have anywhere else to go? Hmm. Hmm. Seems you've got some heavy stuff going on. Pops, you know, the upstairs here is all stark and bare and empty. Hmm? Oh yeah, you're right. I think we got some bedding squirreled away around here too. What do you say, Shizuku? If you like, you're free to stay on the second floor here for a spell. And we won't take no for an answer. Meeting you like this feels like it's gotta be more than a coincidence. Know what I mean? Having you around can only be to our benefit if we're to continue studying these monsters. It would seem to be a win for all parties. Then we all agree! The Akiba Freedom Fighters have a new member! Three cheers! Bob Um! But wait... I haven't agreed to anything. Congrats. <laughs> All right. Just for a little while, though. Thank you for having me. Okay. So here we freedom fighters stand, in the midst of a maelstrom. You said you fought some of these things already, but aside from that, you ever done any real hand-to-hand -hand combat? Nope. <laughs> of course not. I never meant to forge anything. You just mean we fight so often you happen to get something out of it, right? I'm not sure I'd even call those fights. They seem to be more like tests of endurance to me. Huh? <laughs> what was that? N nothing. Nothing at all. Pussy. See, I'm getting a little worried now. Hey, I know. A friend of mine runs a coliseum in Akiba. Or a battle arena, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. Might be a good place to get yourself caught up on the basics of combat. You want, I'll introduce you. For real? What kind of person is this? Who the hell runs a battle arena in Akiba? Just a martial arts nut I know who found herself managing the place, that's all. But she doesn't let just anyone step into the ring. You gotta pass some kind of test first or something. I'll give her a call and let her know what's up. So you better get going. Oh, All right. and take Shizuku with you too. A little extra training can't hurt any, right? I think Toko should go with. She can probably force her way in there no problem, test be damned. Watch your tongue. I am a dainty and respectable lady. You got that? Seriously, rude much? It's not a bad idea, though. So whom will you escort to the arena? Shizuku or Toko? I think I'm going to go with option C and go with a cute blonde bimbo from Finland. Huh? You want to go with me? Damn right I, I do. I guess I can drag along, but I can't fight, you know. All I can do is cheer for you. Fine the battle me. arena is on the other side of Main Street and right past Junk Street. So let's get the pedal to the go! Yay! <laughs> Knock him dead! She's so enthusiastic. Gotta love it. Alrighty then, let's go. See if we can explore about a little bit first. Oh, I can't go in there yet. Oh well. I seem to be having a bit of a controller lag problem. Alright, let's see. So we've got an email. Eagerly seeking brave warriors. Ah, it's the chick from uh, the bottle arena. Alright. Everybody's worried about you. I think you should come straight back to base. Don't stop off anywhere. I would have been to be. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright, so first of all, we'll save the game. That's new data. Might as well. And let's go.
Might as well take a manual walk there this time because otherwise uh, it's just going to be story, story, story <laughs> and any gameplay. And we don't want that now, do we? Let's stretch this game out a little bit and go the wrong way by the look of things. Ooh, shopping assistance. Let's get that flyer off you. It looks so heavy. I gotta take it off you. All that paper, you know. <laughs> right, okay. Now this way. Apparently this way. Oh, I got a new pitter thing. Pitter Twitter. Nope. <laughs> Not reading that, sorry. Wow. Don't know why. I just really want to pick a fight. Oh slap that ass, that works too. Just <laughs> pick a fight, come on. Oh yeah, that's better. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Okay, that works. That totally works. Let's grab our stuff and get a move on. At least there was a bit of excitement here so far. And there's still no like mid-game audio. Which is weird. It will be next time, I well, swear. Now. It's rare to get customers at this hour. Hmm? Oh, you must be the boy Pops was telling me about. You look rather ordinary to me. But perhaps there's more to you than meets the eye. Oh, where are my manners? I'm the manager of this establishment. You may call me Antoinette. While I don't own the arena, the one who does is presently on a journey. So I am in charge for the time being. Now then, let's get started, shall we? This facility exists to help one achieve his or her full potential. It is a place where rivals cultivate each other's growth. Those who win do receive reward money, but the true reward is the experience itself. However, not everyone has the heart of a champion. If you wish to stand victorious within this ring, you must first prove yourself worthy. I will now okay, test okay. that worth, if I may. Are you ready? I was born ready. I'm rooting for you! As you wish. Please, step into the ring. Fight! I believe in you! You can do it! She's so adorable. I love it. If there was a kind of root, I'd take it. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's get a move on. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ooh. Almost had me. So close. One thing I've noticed after turning down the volume of the music actually notice the sound effects of the punches a lot more. Let's go. Whoa. Right, okay. Let's beat the shit out of his headphones. That's better. I hate these guys. Leave the 
best for last. Any more shit that I gotta pick up from here? Can't see any. Oh well. Well done. Though considering who sent you here, I shouldn't be surprised. You were simply amazing. You did great! Really well! Thank you. Here's your pass. With this, you may come make use of the arena any time you wish. Please make this coliseum roar with the flames of your passion. It's a bit weird Mission that her mouth complete. doesn't move. Come on, let's go back to Mokra. All right, let's take a stroll right back. Since I made absolutely certain that I've picked up all the loots and by the look of things I have, brilliant. Mm. Oh, wrong way. Boing. All right, let's pick a fight with somebody else. You little. Oh yeah. Let's go. Let's get it on. That was almost too easy. Why are you? Ooh. <laughs> she is not happy. <laughs> Ooh, shop assistant. Thank you. I needed that. Let's save the game. Something's wrong with my audio settings. Background music volume. That does make sense. Sound effects, voice, street. Oh. That does make sense. That does make sense. Alright, let's put this to the test. It did save. I have a message. You have considerable skill. I'll be waiting in the arena during normal business hours, so feel free to drop by for a challenge any time. Here's the basic rules of conduct for your reference. Uh, rules. The arena is rank-based. The more matches you win, the higher you will be ranked. You will always be matched up with fighters of equivalent rank to your own. Victory will earn you monetary rewards. There is no registration fee, no contract requires to fight. All you need to bring with you is the burning passion heart thingy. <laughs> yeah, can't do it with the controller in my hand. Why did I bother anyway? <laughs> Anywho, next. Something happened. I'll tell you the details in person, so come on back to the bar as soon as you're done with your training. And that is from Sigigama. I can barely read anything because my camera is kind of... In no way. <laughs> oh well, no worries. All right, let's go back to the Mogra. Back to the Mogra. That's better. Audio issue resolved. Can't believe I turned it down so low that it wasn't audible. Hey, welcome back. So how'd it go? That Antoinette's a bit of an odd one, ain't she? She's Not just a bad a bit. person to know, though. Next time you see her, give her my regards. <laughs> anyway, I got a question for you. When you were walking down Junk Street, you saw some suspicious people milling about, right? If you got yep. some energy to spare, I'd like you and Shizuku to head back there and scope the place out. I'll go, but only if you get lunch started. When I get back, I'm gonna eat so much and... Okay. Let's get this over so I can eat. I'll go with the first option. It seems like the most dickish option. Man, you that hungry? I sent Toko out chopping, er, shopping, not some few minutes ago. Is there any food you want to add to the list? Your sexy ass. <laughs> That's a uh, part of the menu. <laughs> Beef bowl sets. Get it, got it, good. I'll 
call her and let her know. Okay. We're off to patrol Junk Street. We'll be back soon. Okie dokie! Go get them, but be careful. Okay. Alright, let's take a look. Well, this guy is going to be a little bit useless. Shizuku, don't care. Toko, doesn't care. Toko uh, likes me the most. Alright, okay. Get down to the right. Curry coming soon. Never mind. Alright, let's take a look see. So I'm supposed to take Shizuku with me. What's the objective? To do. I hear reports of a strange person on Junk Street. If it's a synthesis, there's no doubt it will not be ending peacefully. I'll go with Shizuko and investigate the scene. Sounds like fun. See, that's what I got for not paying attention. Alright, let's go. So, we're going to Junk Street. Are those the suspicious people Pop spoke of? The hell is your suspicious. problem? What do you that think group? you're looking at? You here to start something? I'll make mincemeat out of you both! They're synthesters. I can sense it. I'm afraid we have no choice but to defeat them. Okay. Alright. Let's take the dudes off first. Oh, these guys actually do fight. My hot head gear thing is a little bit torn. Uh -huh. Okay, that should be the trick. Oh yeah, she gone. Let's take her microphone. Yep, quite happy here. There don't seem to be any more of them. Well, we did kind of kick their ass and uh, strip them naked in the middle of the sun, so they went poof. Alrighty then. So, as soon as we're still on the junk street, let's uh, pick another fight and uh, see if uh, Unison Strip actually works. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. That's good. Gotcha. And it works! Sweet! Don't have to actually relearn it. It worked. I like it. We won the fights. We saved the day. Awesome. Okay. What's the bet she's a synthister? Well, if she is, she's a wuss. Do I have the camera? Oh, glide me. I have a camera on me. Mm -hmm. So she should. And she does. That makes perfect sense. Okay, let's see who else is a synthester around here. I don't care about you. I don't want guy clothes. Thinking about customizing my character a little bit. Yes, I will. Thank you very much. I already have the flyer. Okay. Fuzzy camera says that you're it. All right, fine. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. Never mind. All right, let's go back to more granary.
That's much better. Welcome back! Oh, hey! Got your order right here. A whole family of beef bowls. One, two, and three. Oh, yeah, I like that one. I like that one. God, you're such a piss ant. <laughs> Can't you be a little more gracious? So, uh, guys, you know we serve food here too, right? Might be nice if you order from us every now and again, or at all. But, Pops, this bar? Well, the coffee is delicious, but the food items are not so delicious. Oh, that stings me right in the old ticker. You're an employee here, you know? Don't it bother you to tell me our food sucks? I have to say, though, your food order is quite a bit bigger than usual. And that might just be the understatement of the century. Your food order is monstrous, man. Like eating contest world championship monstrous. All you've done is eat lately. Could this be a side effect of his transformation into a synthester? Most likely. Those who are transformed typically attack humans and feed on their vitality. But that's not the case here. It seems he can still sate his hunger with food, as long as he eats enough of it. Hmm. Hadn't thought of that. So... Hurt by sunlight? And always hungry? That sounds very rough. Doesn't it seem kind of weird, though? I mean, if every other Synthester attacks people, why doesn't he? What makes him different? Well, that's... Hmm. Oh, yeah. Since you're gonna be fighting monsters from here on out, I came up with a few support plans for you, so to speak. Yuto, if you would. Right. Can I see your phone for a bit? Now, where was that again? Oh, here we go. Set the login info and done. All right, so what I've done is I've installed an app on your phone that lets us freedom fighters read and accept requests for help gathered from locals. The icon that launches it is on your home screen under the name Side Missions, so feel free to try it out at your convenience. Basically, the idea is... I'll take it from here. Chores. The idea is Chores there's is the a lot idea. riding on this whole fight with the Synthesters. And, well, you kinda suck at sports. You've barely ever fought a real battle, and you got nothing under your belt but some Colosseum fighting. Yeah. <laughs> but you gotta reach out and touch people in the niceties, getting to know what makes them tick and why it's worth saving them from these monsters. So I'm gonna gather up requests and send them over through that app, and leave the rest in your hands. Up to you which ones you wanna tackle. It's all in Akiba either way, so you should be able to knock out most of them during your patrols. And speaking of patrols, we're going to head out on ours. We'll take the area around the station. You'll take the side streets. People are being attacked out there. This is no time to be lying down on the job. Anyway, if you find anything, be sure to report back on it pronto. I'm sorry to have dragged you into this. We wouldn't have it any other way. Akiva belongs to the people, you know? Whatever we can protect, we will. That's what being a freedom fighter is all about. Yeah, right on, Pops! Way to man up! I am neither impressed nor inspired. We meet again, person accompanying Brotaku. <laughs> Enter the sister! So, like we were saying before, there's one more person in our group who's kind of a secret character. She also found herself living in the shop, though in her case it's because she's kind of a hermit. Her room's the one back behind the bar. Um, my name is Shizuku Tokikaze. The Freedom Fighters have been a great help to me. It's nice to meet you. I know who you are. I was eavesdropping from behind the bar counter. And it's nice-ish to meet you, too. Just remember, 
nice-ish isn't the same as mean. If we're clear on that, then I'm okay with nice-ish. Dealing with you 3D PD people drains my energy, so I'm going to go now. But there's something I want to discuss with you, Broccoli. So come to my room later. Like brother, like sister, huh? Yeah, but at least there was a time when she had everything together. Not so much for her brother. Oi. <laughs> the little sister is very good with her hands, you know. She can make all kinds of clothing. All of the protective gear used by the Freedom Fighters is a product of her demon art. If you have problems with your outfit, all you have to do is speak with the little sister, and they will be solved like magic. Uh, so hey, not to interrupt, but patrols, anyone? We'll be out around the station. See ya. You should go speak with your little sister. Don't worry, I'll wait here for you until you're done. Okie dokie. Alrighty then, so, I'm thinking at this point uh, is where I'm going to save and exit. I'm thinking about uh, playing another game tonight as well, but potentially as a separate live stream. Hmm. It's going to have to be something relatively quick, because I do have to wake up nice and early in the morning. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking uh, I could play a demo of Five Nights at Freddy's, just to see how well I do at it. Life. Why not? Okay, I'll probably see you guys in five minutes, so uh, keep an eye out on my channel. I'll try not to be too long. There should be some jump scares there. 